Ladies and gentlemen, if you're from Manitoba and you've done any getting out of the house at all in the past 20 or so years, you know this as Marvin from the Planetarium. I'm with Scott Young, who is an astronomer from the Planetarium, and we're here to talk about something very, very exciting that has yeah. to do with Marvin. Scott, why are we here talking today? Well, we're keeping Marvin, and we are adding to him the Digistar 5 video system, which basically covers the entire dome with high-resolution uh, digital imagery. So not only will we have, like, the nice stars of Marvin, but we can leave the Earth, fly through the stars, visit all the planets, and and put any kind of video that we want up there covering the entire dome. So the images coming back from the Mars Curiosity probe or uh, the latest scientific uh, data from Hubble or things like that, or just anything we want basically. It's gonna be fantastic. Scott, this is exciting because formerly, uh, to explain sort of a transition from one spot to another, you'd have to sort of show one picture and then explain the transition, show the next. Explain how the new Digistar 5 is different. Well, basically, you fly it with a joystick or an iPad, and, and it's one seamless, it's like fl playing a video game or a flight simulator. You just fly from place to place, and everything automatically moves the way it's supposed to. So if you want to figure out the phases of the moon, for example, you can just pick up and fly around the moon and you'll be able to see that one side is lit up by the sun, one side not lit up by the sun and how you'll see how it all works just intuitively. We won't have to explain it, we'll be able to just show it and it's just going to be so much easier for education, so much easier to grasp what's going on and it's just going to be so much more exciting to, to fly through space like that. Scott, I have to admit, I'm, uh, I'm sort of a geek and I am very, very excited by this. Um, what other kinds of programming other than just straight uh, astronomy programs are, is this going to sort of facilitate here at the planetarium? Well, yeah, basically the sky's not the limit anymore. We can do any kind of subject that we want. There are programs available on um, the pyramids. There are programs available on uh, dinosaurs. There are programs available on in the, the inside of the human body. Pretty much anything that you can visualize in a computer can be wrapped around and warped onto our dome and, and made into an immersive image. So we're going to be, over the next few years, coming up with all sorts of uh, programs, both in house with with our partners and also um, from other planetariums and it's just going to be uh, an amazing site. So as you can probably tell uh, the uh, the planetarium is in a, in a sort of state of transition right now. Uh, it's going to be closed for a while. When is the grand reopening? We are our grand reopening is on October the 6th. We'll open for the public. There'll be uh, a couple of days of uh, sneak previews and media events before that. Right now we're taking out all of the old wiring and all of the old slide projectors that aren't going to be needed anymore, making room for the new projectors and uh, we'll be installing those starting uh, starting this week and then it's practice 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 so everybody knows how to fly the new digital Digistar 5. We're the first site in the world to have Digistar 5, and so we're sort of, uh, we've got to learn everything on our own as we, uh, as we experience it. So when I first heard about the new projectors, uh, I got a little worried because I am sort of a, I am sort of nostalgic, and I was sort of worried that Marvin would be leaving us. But he, like you said, he's, he's staying. Yeah, we're keeping Marvin. We're uh, we're not sure uh, how much we'll use him um, in all of the shows because, of course, the Digistar does stars itself, and uh, if you want to fly around, it uh, it's sort of essential. But we'll also be doing co regular constellation stuff and sort of the the classic planetarium stuff here and there. Each show will have a little little live section, and we'll probably bring Marvin out for those kinds of things and special events and and uh, he'll be around for a long time. Uh, like you said, the planetarium is back open on the 6th. Can you talk a little bit about maybe one of the first shows that will be uh, presented? Yeah, we're opening with uh, with three different shows. Uh, probably my favorite one, the one I'm most excited about, is called Experience the Aurora. Um, it's a, a guy who went up to the Arctic Circle and shot for seven months of uh, just time-lapse photography of the sky tracking the aurora and it, it's basically like being there and watching that on a flat screen uh, TV or something like that is, is impressive enough to wrap it around you and fill the entire sky as if you were actually up there at the Arctic Circle. It's, it's mind blowing. The show is amazing and uh, it's just going to look great once we get it up in the dome. For those of our viewers who like to do cool stuff, where can they find more information about coming to the planetarium and checking that out? Uh, the website is manitobamuseum.ca and you can just visit the, uh, the planetarium section there. And I have a little blog as well where I've been sort of talking about the kinds of things that are going on as we, as we install things and, and you'll be able to track Digistar 5 until it opens on the 6th. Awesome, Scott, thank you so much for talking with us today. No I'm very, very excited about the, uh, the new projectors. It's gonna be great. For Shaw TV, I'm Jay Williams.